We want to give a shout out to Jasmine's World. Thanks for the request and just craft it. For this craft you'll need beads, hard plastic straws, small wooden circles, craft paint or nail polish, and glue. Start by taking your hard plastic straw and cut a small piece off of the end. This makes a ring for your doll. Now, if it's a little too small to fit on your doll's finger, just cut right through one side of the straw, then take a hair dryer and apply a little bit of heat to the straw. This will soften the plastic, and then you can stretch it open so it can fit on your doll's finger. And it will look more like a ring pop. Now take your small wooden circle and glue it to the top of your ring. If you don't have a wooden circle, you can just use a hole punch and punch out circles from recycled paperboard. Now take a bead shaped like a ring pop and glue it to the top. We found these beads at Michael's. Now you can paint it any flavor you want. You can paint it all one color or you can paint the base one color and the sucker another color. We are not painting the straw because we don't want anything to rub off on our doll's finger. So we're just gonna leave that its natural color. And you can even add some extra flavor to your ring pops. Now make all the flavors and maybe add a few of your own. This next part is optional, but you can take the printable labels, take packaging tape, place the tape right on top of the labels, just like this, fold it or crease it right in the middle, and then you can take a glue stick just to apply it to the edges so it'll stick together better. And just take a random bead. You don't have to take an actual ring pop since you're not gonna see it. Put it in the middle and then carefully close the package. Make sure to line up all the ends as best as you can and then you can cut off any excess tape. And now you have your little packaged ring pops. And if you wanna put your ring pops in your doll store, you can make a little box to sell them in. So we're gonna take a crayon box and we're gonna cut it as high as we want the back to be. So pretty much just cut it in half. And then we're gonna cut right down the front on the edges as far down as we want the front to be. So just cut them evenly on both sides. And now you can fold down the front of the box and just glue that into place. Makes it extra sturdy. And now at a slant, just cut off the sides. That way the back is taller than the front. Now cover it with paper and you can use these printables that we have or you can make your own and just decorate the box and fill the box with ring pops. Now you can sell them in your doll store or you can add them to your candy cart or have them on the table at a doll party and they're so cute and dolls love ring pops. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave us a comment with your favorite ring pop flavor.